last me and my Aaliyah shirt again. Um, because I'm pushing these videos out because I want to be serious about my content creation. Do I? I do. I, 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 Y'all should be thankful. I've been up here all day in this dividend filming videos. Um, and I thank y'all for being here. All right, let's just jump right into it. Now, what did you, girl, you forgot your intro already. Hey, y'all, hey, I'm back for another episode of What Is You Buying Now? Now, this time I got some handbags for the girls. Yep, got some handbags. I got about, let me see, one, two, three, seven. Got about seven handbags, two of, two, not two of which, but some of which came from two different uh, black-owned companies. Um, and then some Michael Kors bags because, you know, I like their stuff, their quality that I'm going to throw in here as well. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right into it just to save on time. Let's go. All right, so let's just start with the Michael Kors bags. Um, here in my city in Charleston, South Carolina, we have an outlet store. And um, if you're not familiar with outlet stores, they're typically a little bit more inexpensive um, than getting them directly from the website or from, you know, a reseller or someone else, typically. Um, this one has sales more times than not. Items might be a little bit outdated or out of fashion or whatever people want to call them at the outlet stores. However, if it speaks to my soul, I purchase it um, with, with my dollars, coins, and cents. So as far as what's in season, out of season, I don't give a damn. It's not for Labor Day and I wear white. I do what I want to do because I spend my money. Um, I've been saving this dog on receipt for a while to get to this video. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tell you what the price is looking like so that I can put my things away. All right. So I got this bag in three different colors because I should have put the uh, TikTok sound on here. If I like it, I'm going to get it in another color. If I like it, I'm going to get it in another color. Anyway, this is the Michael Kors Jet Set Travel Extra Small Leather Bag. So I guess it's the Jet Set Travel Bag. I'm going to assume I'm not really giving. It's not giving travel because they're not very big. And it's also not giving extra small. Or maybe extra small is one size up for midi. I'm not well versed in all things. Um, child makes military, so you know bags are are very new, newer to me. Let's just say that. Anyway, your regular retail price is going to be four hundred and ninety eight dollars for this little bag. Y'all don't see the bag. Anyway, four hundred and ninety eight dollars. Um, I only paid one hundred and nineteen dollars at the outlet, which, well, one hundred and nineteen for one. 99 for one and 65 for the other. Um, and so the price, I guess, depending on the color and the style of bag, they range from $327 up to $498. Um, and so they came up to as low as 65 and as high as 119. And that was including the sale, the in-store sale price, and then the um 10% military discount. Okay. All right. So that came up to about 270 something dollars for all three bags. Now, I'm going to show you these bags and, and let you see. It still has the thing on there. This is the extra small jet set bag. It's pretty simple. However, I had to get some statement colors because I don't have as many colors as I'd like. Now, you think I got a whole lot of colors because you see all the stuff back here. But these are just, this is all one color. These are all the pink bags. These are all the red bags. And then we got a few more going across here. Um, and so I'm just trying to get out of black bags because I said being ex-military, you basically didn't waste your time spending a whole lot of money on stuff that you can't carry anyway. So, um, with that being said, I knew that I needed a mustard bag. I do have a mustard, um, Marc Jacobs tote, but I wanted something to be a little bit more dressy, um, just for the sake of, just for the sake of having the color. Um, it says extra small. Again, it doesn't give extra small to me. Like in size comparison to my to my head, it's not extra small to me. It's giving like a medium because it's not real medium and it's not real small. And, you know, maybe in their series of like minis and different things like that, this might be the extra small, but it's big enough. Um, I'm not real big on like extra large totes unless I'm going to like somewhere where I need to take my heels off, put them in their little slip cover and put them in the bag or the beach, or, you know, something dramatic where I just need more stuff. Um, I'm normally like this size bad girl. I'm like a mid-size sedan, you know. So, this is the mustard color. It's coming off a little bit yellow. Again, sorry, my lighting is not the best because it's dark. 
but links will always be in the description bar if I can find them. Um, mustard color, the only thing I do hate is that they don't have what I call feet which is the little things in the little things in the bottom so that when you sit on the floor your actual leather is not touching the floor but it's so tiny that I wouldn't probably never put it down I would probably just wear it as a crossbody um I'm a girl that prefers a crossbody I prefer if it can't be crossbody I don't want it across my body so yeah it comes with girl I should probably should have undid this before I started but again this is a shit show over here it does have a strap here, but this is kind of tiny for my liking and um, I said that because when I do wear my cross bodies um, I prefer to have two hands free in case I got a box to suck up for trying to play with me in the mall but um that strap is a little bit thin but I have a million other purses here that I can swap the strap out with for something thicker um, or just wear it as a hand tote I rarely ever wear it as a tote unless I'm being dressy uh, what else that's about it. it. It's a simple bag. It's not anything special, which is why I would never pay $500 for it, which is the original price because what? Which I feel like they're kind of playing on my top. They're going to, because I Googled the bag, right? And it's okay. It's on sale. Okay. Never mind, because I was on the, on the website and the website said, the website says $89 as well. So I'm assuming, you know, the sale might be all across the board but the original price is still coming up to 448 dollars i don't know who's paying that but i ain't all right so yeah we got a little what is this a little pocket back here it doesn't have a zipper um pretty simple and i like for my closures to be center here because sometimes when there's one here and one when they're off center sometimes it weighs on the bag especially if you put a lot of things in here and considering the fact that i like I've mentioned in other videos, I have since I have skin allergies so much so that I have to carry an EpiPen in the event that something agitates me severely. So it, it at least has to be long enough to put my EpiPen in there. Um, my pistol. And, you know, the, the things that the girls need. All right? So, yeah, pretty simple. Not much not much to write home about. Just a little quick little one, two, one, two. All right? Y'all got it? Got it. All right, so we're going to move on because, again, if I like it, I'm going to get it in another color. Yep, boom, got it in red. It's pulling gent magenta or like a burgundy or, I don't know, it's, it's not pulling red. The color's not giving red here, but in, okay, we got some gold detailing here. Okay, it's gold because I don't, I didn't want silver in any of my hardware. So, um, this is, we got gold here, gold detailing, again, same bag. Same bag, same, you know, in another color. Everything's the same. I like the, I like structured bags. I don't really like no loose nick ass bag. Um, like the Never Fools and bags like that. I, I don't like them. I, I want some structure. I want some backbone. So, girl, hold your, hold your neck steady. Um, same detailing. Again, same exact bag, different color. This is more of like a, it's a true red. A true red to me. Again, it's not coming across on camera, but it's a true red. All right. And what did I just say? Tell me what I said again. If I like it, all right. Now, I was hoping they had like a hunter green or another green because I don't think I have that sort of green. Um, hell, maybe I do. No, not really. I don't have a dark enough green. I got enough brown, blacks, pinks, reds, tans. But, you know, trying to get my color profile up. Now that I'm here, I wish I had got the silver metallic, but... Something about silver metallic that's harsh for me and be pissing me off a little bit. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about it, but it, it pisses me off. So I got the rose gold in the same color. Again, lighting's a little trash right now, but same. So this will be like a little, you know, something to go with like an all black outfit. Um, I now need to get a met uh, metallic rose gold heel um, that would match this, but yeah, I, this is giving more like a party bag or, you know, something real cute. But could still be an everyday bag. But the only thing about this, I feel like this metallic is going to scratch very easily. And I did ask the associates, associates and she was like, yeah, you know, it could very much scratch very easily. So this won't be an everyday bag. Um, Like this is a little bit more, you know what I mean? It's a little bit more formidable and could take, 
Now that is light colored, so you gotta be careful with that, rubbing against like your jeans and your dark colored clothing. But all you need is some, some leather cleaner and that'll come right off. This, like I said, is gonna pick up a lot of scratches. And since I prefer to wear them with cross bodies, sometimes they get some wear back here, just kind of bumping against my belt and different things. So yeah, and I got it in a metallic pink. They also had a gold. They had gold and a metallic gold and metallic silver. And I wanted to get both of those two, but I just I just couldn't pull the trigger on it, so to speak. Because they're like, to me, they're like special, special, special occasion type bags, if that makes sense to me. Like it could only work with so many outfits without looking out of place, if that makes sense. And I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not the girl that changes the purse to match the outfit. All I do is rotate these things out weekly. Once a week, I pick a different one, and that's just going to be my bag for the week to minimize the wear on the other ones. That's it. That's all. Um, even with this one, this is a special occasion bag, so to speak. But I could wear this regular everyday with jeans, and I, I think I'd be able to get away with it. So, I don't know. There's something about the gold and the metallic that's, that's harsh to me. But let me know what y'all think. I don't know. Let's get into this uh, this black on brand. All right, this next brand that I'm going to show you guys, it's not as recent as some of the other bags, but I wanted to put them in here to, to showcase their stuff because I really, really enjoy this stuff. And I don't know if I'd ever get to doing a full haul on just this brand because I don't have as many pieces from them as I have from um, Michael Kors or uh, Tori Burch or some of the other girls that, that are in this outlet location. Um, but I enjoy this stuff. You know, just the same or if not more. I, I need them to be showcased. Because why? They're a black-owned company and I said so. All right, the company that I'm talking about is Tote and Carry. You've probably seen them all over Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. Um, I've ordered some pieces before, you know, all the internet fame when I was just kind of looking around for black-owned brands. Because that's what does my heart good. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I have a spin a night bag or a tote bag or whatever very good quality um i had like a backpack style bag that i gifted to someone very good quality um and so they had a sale and i bought two more of their bags i'm going to start with the smaller one i'm going to change my mind now it's about to get a little bit little bit little bit hood all right again this is a shit show i ain't really no professional at this this is a perfectly imperfect channel right so this is tote and carry i did not have a purse this color so i wanted to get this rust type of i don't know would, would this be considered burnt, on, burnt orange i don't know anyway bag so this is y'all the lighting i'm so sorry again it's gonna be tagged but tote and carry we got the gold hardware this is their medium size bag so let's compare their medium to their medium. Let me back up a little bit. So, so their medium is a little bit taller than Michael Kors's medium. Anyway, this is the me medium bag. It is stuffed right now um, for some of my bigger bags or some of my less structurally sound bags. I do stuff them. Um, should I tell? Should I put y'all my business? We'll get to it. Anyway, they have this little tote and carry emblem with their symbol on the front. Tote and carry. And then tote and carry is well stamped. It is a fixture. I think I don't think it comes off. No, it doesn't come off. So that is a part of their detailing. You got the tote and carry here. Um, very good. This is a little thing here that I would clip my car keys to that's, that hangs inside of the bag. Um... So here, this is what I was talking about in the other bag. You see how the attachment, the attachment is here off to the far left. And on this bag, it's off to the far front. And that's cool, but if things get too heavy in this bag, your structure becomes, I don't know how to say it. Your structure becomes compromised because of it, because your weight, while it appears that this is an even distribution, it is until you wear it as designed. And okay, this is not a bash. This is what I'm saying. This is what I've come across. So after a while, this so it's already kind of happening. Kind of see how like this could be compromised and this is gonna start to it's actually already happening. The stitching will start to rip away in that area. The stitching here will start to wear. 
And when I show you this large size bag, it's going to be even worse because that's a larger bag. Bigger bag, you're going to put more stuff in it. And that's going to wear more heavily on this this these structural things here and so i've already got a little bit of wear on my seams here on the side and especially since the sides of this bag is a little more flexible than some of the the other bags that i have now if this was center i don't know that that would make a difference just because of the way like how thin the outside of this bag is i don't Again, it's not a bag. It's just something that I want you guys to pay attention to as far as like long term. So this is not a bag that I would keep in my weekly rotation. This would be like um every now and again bag just to kind of maintain the integrity of a bag. It ain't built for it tough. And not all bags have to be built to last a lifetime, in my opinion. It, it, you just have to know, you know, what the time, space, and case is going to be for your wear. All right, so this one, we have an adjustable adjustable strap you want to make it longer want to make it shorter if you want to use handles you can use handles if you want to take this off you can now let's get to the inside now don't 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 come for me this this just this, this is me my again my larger bags i stuff them but what i'm not about to do is i already just spent a whole bunch of all my money on these bags i'm not finna buy actual stuffers to stuff them with so for clothes that are too little or you know that i would have donated to a charity by now um or that's no longer old clothes that's what my bags get stuffed with it just if y'all just bear with me <laughs> bear with me uh that is what i stuff my bags with um to help maintain the shape because see this can get kind of it can get kind of loose now this i've, I've carried her for a while so not too much. She, she's been through some things, all right? See, and so it'll lose its shape in storage if you don't stuff it, you know, if you're not careful. So I stuff them. Um, The closure is magnetic. We got a magnetic closure here on the inside. And one thing I like about, I only carried this bag one time. What I like about this is, you know, the lining is silk. But what, you know, what I'm going to presume to be silk. I ain't no silk kind of sort or nothing. And you got a little pocket on the inside and the little flap here. So you got two little minor storage places here. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like the, the matching silk inside to finish it off and make it more professional. Um, yeah, so I'm rambling. So that is the mid-size bag. This is the medium bag that I bought from them, and I'm going to show you the large size next. All right, again, this is the... Uh, large size tote and carry um bag i don't know if this particular name has line or whatever this has a name um i didn't look it up just charge it to my head because i forgot but um yeah this is the large bag this is the large bag and like you see so this is why i stuff my bags this one isn't stuffed very sufficiently because i got creasing right here and i don't like it so i'm gonna have to go back and restuff her but so yeah, it just has the tote and carry logo all over it, just like the mustard or burnt orange or whatever color you want to call it. So um yeah, this is the large bag. This one is a pretty good, a pretty good size. When it comes to large bags, this is big enough for me. This is this is perfect. Um, because I won't be carrying her very often because I am a disabled veteran and my shoulders and my back. My body ain't structurally sound because as big as this bag is, it's going to be a personal challenge for me to fill it. And that doesn't work for my shoulders. It, it'd be hurting my neck. And then I, again, I wear my, my bags as cross bodies because I just have to be aware of my surroundings and have my hands available when they need to be available. And I need both of them in case I got a box of sucker up. So I wear my bags cross bodies. And so this can get heavy on my neck. And even with just wearing it on one shoulder, you know. Women, you, you know how that goes. It gets heavy, it gets taxed, and you have to keep switching from side to side. So this is not an everyday bag, in my opinion. All right? Much like the other one, same hardware, same detailing, um, you know, same structure as far as the opposite side clamps for your thing here. And like I said, this bag is stuffed with old clothing, so... Not too much, I mean, because I ain't going to mess up the shape of my bag. Um, We got a blue silk lining in the inside of this bag. I don't really want to show how many clothes in this bag, so I ain't going to do it. Just 
take my word for it. It's just the blue silk lining on the inside that matches the outside of the bag. And so that is it. That's it for Tote and Carry. So now we're going to get into the next company. I have two bags from them, and then I'll get into the main when I get back. All right, so I'm back with the final company. Two bags from Noir X, N O I R X dot com um nathaniel noir i think is the designer's name and is a black com black owned company as well um another mid-sized bag and this is the coup de gras this is when i tell you I, I know these are probably special occasion bags but i'm willing to wear them daily to the walgreens to Publix, to target because they're just so beautiful anyway um i had a clip showing how they were delivered and if I can find it I'll put it in here because even the packaging is top tier on for this company so I'll put in the clips um of how that looks if I still have the stuff here um dust cover dust cover very nice very nice dust cover so I'm definitely going to keep these in dust covers I don't normally because they're either you know, in these plastic containers that I got from Amazon for storage or they're over here in the top of the DVD. And so they're not really exposed to much anyway. Um, and then, you know, my stuff is organized by color. So I need to be able to see it. So I don't use dust covers more times than not. I'll just put it inside the bag as additional stuffing. Um, but these, these are so unique. There's no mistaking what they are. Um, this is Luxury Essentials, a, special, a specialty piece designed by Nathaniel Noir. All right, I'm going to open this. Let me give you a presentation. Oh, girl, you are bright. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn down my light. Hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. Look at this bag. Look at this damn bag. Look. Look, oh, it's giving holographic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish it's like this. Oh, look. Oh, look at. Oh, stop playing with her, please. Don't play with her. All right, I had to turn that light down just a smidge more so y'all can get into the glory of this bag. Look at this. This bag is so beautiful. It gives me like. Sorry, I'm choking on nothing. It's giving like sexy alligator. Or like sexy sunrise. I don't. It just depends on how the light hit it. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at the greens and the blues pulling through. I don't know how they do that, but very much beautiful. It's giving crocodile or alligator or snake. It's giving something. Um, this is just a little dangly thing. It's not as heavy or as as substantial as the ones on Tote and Carry, but I don't give a damn. I still love it. She also has her shoes on, which means when you set her down, you know, she's not going to be flat on the floor if that ends up being the case. Um, and if you, you're an old black woman like I am, you ain't supposed to put your purse on the floor no way. So it's all right. Um, she's very tough to get into. Like, she's given that type of leather, that type of bag like you got to have to break in, you know what I mean, to make it a little bit more flexible. She's got one, two, a couple zipper pockets here on the inside you know got a little zipper here zipper here zipper here another little opening you know just standard issue things on the inside um we got a yellow yellow lining in here to match you know i guess the gist of the undertone of the bag but the bag the bag is bagging the bag is bagging honey that's all i gotta tell you um, again, mid-sized bag. Sorry, I'm, I'm speechless. Because the, the colors cannot be, it's not to be not to be fumbled with, you know, not to be fooled with. But I'm going to show you the, the, the second bag. What did I tell y'all on the Michael Kors bags? If I like it, I'm going to do what? Get it in another color. Exactly. Get it in another color. And I saw this color and I'm probably just going to carry this bag for the rest of my life. Just this one and, and no other ones. Y'all can, y'all can buy all these if you want. Um. She needs no introduction, okay? <laughs> Hold on, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready for y'all not ready. Y'all not ready, okay? Oh. Ooh. 
baby. Oh, look at that. Look at her. Look at her. So she's pulling like blue and green undertones, a lot like her yellow sister over here. But so I'm telling y'all, the light ain't doing no justice because this sits very blue normally. So this is your normal color. If you're looking at the bag straight on, this is the color that you're going to get. You know, and so as, as that thing is twinkling and glistening in the daylight, you're going to get more of this as you get movement. You get movement with this bag. Oh, Lord, hammers. Look at this. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, she's a sexy thing. She's a sexy something or nothing. You hear me? Um, I did not mention it in the other one, but we also have alternating hardware for the, for the, uh, strap as well so you got one up here and you got one down here however i don't think that'll be a big issue for this bag because this one is not only sewn down but it's reinforced so you have like a whole grommet situation it's like a screw almost girl show the people what do you see it's like a little screw here and not just stitching holding this piece of leather on here so it's it's built for the wear that's going to be that's going to happen when you're wearing it crossbody <clears throat> excuse me matching um she got me speeches matching what this hell is this crossbody strap and she's she's thick enough um she's pretty thick so good as well same material structure just like the last bag but um she has a green a green inlay or green lining just like the green that's pulling when she moves so yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is there to say? Nathaniel Noor, Black Owned Company. Um, go get your bags. I'm not sponsored. These bags, these are some of the best bags I've bought in months, and I got a whole lot of bags. Um, I have not worn them daily to see what the wear is gonna be like, but I'm familiar with Michael Kors's um or Coach Coach Michael Kors. Even told and carry, I'm familiar with how their bags operate, so I know how to handle them. And so I'm probably going to take those one of those girls for a spin here in the next couple of days just to see, you know, how she's going to hold up or what's going to happen. Sorry, I had to turn my light down so y'all can see the fullness that is that bag. But <clears throat> either way, that is um, my most recent purse haul. Um, jump down in the comments, let me know what you think about the haul. Any other questions, comments, concerns, anything I can help y'all with? Um, that's it. That's it. That's all. I'll see y'all in the next video and I'll catch y'all in the next shopping cart. Peace.